Hello, Gemini viewers. I'm going to get right into the reading. So whatever the cards want to say. Whoever wants to come out here. I've got the Five of Pentacles. Okay. The High Priestess. The Six of Swords. Okay, so you know something or someone. Yeah, I think, I think it's you. You know something. You've seen something. There's some kind of you're being observant. So you're leaving something or someone out in the cold. You're moving forward from something. You're trying to move from rough waters to calmer waters. This could be a breakup. This could be the end of a friendship or a job. We'll see what comes up here. The moon. Judgment. Why do I feel like some of you are dealing with a Taurus? The moon, judgment. Yeah, you're making a judgment call. You just found out something or you're about to find out something. There's some kind of secret that's being revealed. Tell me more about the secret. I guess that energy is coming a lot, up a lot during in the collective right now because that, that came out for Scorpio too. So we got the moon judgment. And if this resonates and you want a private reading, my email is right below in the description box, dragonenchantress at AOL.com. I also really appreciate any comments, even just leaving a heart comment. It really helps me a lot because I'm trying to get back in the YouTube algorithm again. So yeah, some of you are choosing to just be single right now because you found something out. You discovered something the magician, it's like you're manifesting, you're abundant, you're you're focusing on your money, you're focusing, you're thinking ahead, you're being logical, you're thinking about the long term. It looks like you are on the right path. You know, you are you are being intuitive, you are in the high priestess energy, you are in that energy of judgment, the magician, you know, manifesting. You're in this period of abundance too. You know, this this person is single but they are abundant. They're, they're focusing on their money. They have pretty much everything in their life except for love. That's the one area of their life that's missing. But it's like you're manifesting money. Maybe you're listening to binaural beats. You're, you're going through this transformation. Death. Eight of swords. Three of swords. Eight of Wands. Let's see here. What was this? Eight of Swords, Three of Swords, uh, Eight of Wands. What what happened here? Five of Swords, the Sun. Hmm. Seven of Wands. The sun is such a strange card to get. What What is going on here? Two of swords. The lovers. Page of cups. Wait a minute. Is this person actually toxic or did you just misunderstand something? Let me see here. Queen of swords. The chariot. The Five of Wands, the Five of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the King of Cups. I feel like you felt betrayed. You felt like somebody put you in this Eight of Swords energy. You feel like you have no choice but to walk away. Or it felt like it came in quickly. You felt like you were they were sharing too much of their time and attention with somebody else. Five of Cups. Let's see here. But were they? Were they actually was this person actually Eight of Pentacles, Three of Cups, The Hanged Man, Three of Wands, Four of Wands.
The Hierophant. The Page of Wands. The Ace of Cups. Nine of Swords. And the Six of Cups. Let me see here. I feel like someone was tempted by an ex during Mercury Retrograde, but it might not have gone as far as you think it went. Let's see. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. So, like, I'm trying to find out, is there actually, was there actually cheating here? Four of Cups, Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, King of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. The storyline I'm getting here is that either, so you, I think that you think this person did something that they actually didn't do, or they did do something, but it was based on a misunderstanding. So I feel like you, I feel like there's a friend of theirs. It could be like a best friend or somebody that you're worried about. You're worried that there's something romantic going on between them, but there's actually not. Um, like, there might have been some miscommunication between you two during Mercury Retrograde. Like, you might have seen something or heard something, and you thought that there was more going on there than there actually was. Like, you were worried about something, but it, it, it it's not what it seemed to be, basically, is what I'm getting. It's, it's, there was some kind of illusion. It, it wasn't what it seemed like. So you might have thought this person had feelings for this other person when they actually don't. It's it's like you might have gotten jealous, but there wasn't really a reason to be jealous. Um, there was just some kind of misinformation. For others, I do feel like this person, and it, you know, only take it if it resonates. This this storyline, this group is not. It's not going to be for everybody, so don't try to make it fit if it's not fitting. But but basically, the the energy I get here is there was some kind of miscommunication that took place. For some, I feel like, I feel like this person might, for some of you, there's, there's a, a second storyline here. For some of you, I do feel like this person actually did cheat or they did do something wrong. But I feel like it was based on a miscommunication. This person sees you as like a king or queen of swords. They see you as somebody who's very confident, very powerful, very disciplined, but not very um, emotional with them. Like maybe in the past you were, but they see you as somebody who's not emotional at this point in time. They see you as somebody who's a little bit closed off with them. Somebody who's a little bit uh, kind of just like a cutthroat energy, basically. And for some, I feel like... For some of you, I feel like maybe you were playing hard to get. Maybe you did not realize that you were coming off as a king or queen of swords type. Like maybe you were trying to manifest this person and you were just like in your confidence, you know, which is like feeling powerful and you didn't realize how you were appearing to this person. You thought you were coming off as like an emperor, empress, king or queen of wands when in reality this person was viewing you as like a king or queen of swords type. So... You know, you're sitting there, you're doing the manifestation, you're trying to get them to message you, you're trying to play hard to get, you're kind of being seductive, you're you're trying to draw them in, and this person couldn't match your confidence. So, so again, it's up to you if you want this, but this is another storyline I'm picking up, so just, you know, don't shoot the messenger, I'm just telling you what I see here, it's up to you to decide what you want to do with it, um, if this is your reading that is. But, but yeah, for others of you, it's like, I, I feel like there was some kind of miscommunication where this person felt rejected by you. And again, it might've just been you playing hard to get, you were trying to manifest them. You wanted them to be the one to come to you, or maybe even there was like an argument or some kind of miscommunication where you said something and they might have gotten the impression that you were not interested anymore or that you were dating other people. They might've gotten jealous. They might've seen something on social media and thought that you were dating somebody else. Like they got triggered by something. They got insecure about something. And I think some of them made a mistake and they, someone from their past might have hit them up and they might have been in a state of anxiety when this person from their past came back around during re retrograde. And I feel like you were their first choice, honestly. I feel like you were the one that they wanted. 
but I feel like they, they thought, you know, like I said, they thought that you were with somebody else. They, they misunderstood your energy. If you were playing hard to get, um, or try to manifest them, or if you posted something, or if you guys had a conversation, there was some kind of misunderstanding, miscommunication that made them feel triggered, made them feel insecure, made them feel like you were not an option for them. And so I feel like in this anxious state, I feel like they might have allowed a slip up during Mercury retrograde, they might have had an ex that was they might have hit their ex up somebody that was easier to talk to not not on your level somebody who um so you know you're very confident you're very powerful you're very charismatic this ex i feel like would have been kind of insecure kind of um maybe like a first love type not a uh, somebody who's kind of childish kind of naive kind of naive kind of insecure and so either they hit them up or you know vice versa they might have been like well you know I know this person would want me like this person like kind of just like settling for less you know what I mean like they felt rejected by you and they got in their head and they didn't want to feel alone and so they messed up and they maybe had like a one night stand with this ex or they started talking to them again um, and there might have been some feeling there, but it wasn't as deep as it was with you. But I feel like they're realizing their mistake now because I think you did actually want them. And now they're in this energy where they're like, oh, damn, like they they didn't realize that. So I'm because some of you, it's like you're in your confidence, you're moving on. You're like, I deserve more than this. And, you know, that's it's it's up to you if you want to leave this behind but it does look like what happened was based on a misunderstanding i don't think this person would have messed around with the other person if it hadn't been for that um like i said i feel like they thought that you were really just whatever happened it's like they thought that you didn't want them so they thought that you weren't an option for them and they were just kind of settling to the pentacles the star yeah like this person's kind of insecure they don't really want to be alone so it, it's up to you if you want to deal with this they do see you. The, the truth is, though, that, you know, they do see you as their wish fulfillment. They do see you as the one that they want to be with. The issue is just, again, they see you as king or queen of swords energy. They see you as somebody who's not approachable, somebody who's not interested in them, somebody who maybe has multiple people chasing you. Like, they, they, don't, they don't realize your feelings for them. They don't realize your... They haven't seen a softer side in you, or at least maybe they haven't seen a softer side in you in a long time. Um, they don't know if you have a soft spot for them. They don't know. Yeah, they're unaware of what you feel for them. Or maybe they're aware of it now, but they're like, oh, damn, like now I messed up because they because of that misunderstanding. OK, let's wrap this reading up. What else do you want to tell me about this? Ace of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, Eight of Cups, Ten of Cups, King of Swords, Temperance, Ten of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like this other person was wanting a lot more with them than they were interested in also. Like this wasn't, this is, this might have been something where it's like you sense that this person had feelings for them and they didn't sense it. So they're like, what are you talking about? You're crazy. Like that's just a friend. And now they're realizing that this person that you warned them about actually does have feelings for them. Or if this was like an ex that they were kind of settling for because they felt like they couldn't have you. It's like they, it was kind of more of like a spur of the moment, like insecure thing. Like, have you ever just been like really depressed and just alone? And you're just like, I just want somebody here. Like just like, I just, I just really, I want to feel valued. I want to feel wanted. Like whatever happened, they felt really rejected by you. Even if it wasn't a direct conversation, even if it was just like your social media post, they really got in their head about something. And so, yeah, they were in that low point and this person was wanting more with them than they were wanting with them. So they kind of cut that out. Like they're not, they're, they realize they made a mistake pretty quickly. They're balancing it out. They're letting that go. They're, they're wrapping the karmic lesson up. What are they wanting with you? 
Seven of Swords, Justice. They want justice. They want to, yeah, they want justice because they're like, you know what? I know, like, I did something wrong. I know I was sneaky, but, like, there's there's more to this story. It wasn't just as simple, like, like I didn't know I could have you. I didn't know you still wanted me. I didn't, there was some kind of misunderstanding there. And so they want justice. They want, they want balance here, yeah. King and Queen of Wands, the Hermit, the Fool. Yeah, they want you to think about this. They they want you to think about this. And have a new start with them because they see that you're being independent. They see you're like a queen or king of pentacles type, but they also kind of feel like it's like devil energy where you're like, where you're like, they believe in you. They see that you're strong, but they also feel like maybe you're, you're partially being that way because you were hurt by them. Um, and they're just wanting a chance to like explain things to you, to show them, to show you their side of things, to show you, Hey, it wasn't, there was some illusion there. Things were not what they seemed. Uh, basically. So I think, you know, if this is your person, I think you guys really need to like have open, honest communication because this person isn't, they're, they're not going to chase you just because of their own insecurities. And so it's like, you have to decide if that's something that you want to deal with, but this is the type of person that they're going to require consistent, open communication. This is the type of person that will overanalyze and assume the worst. So, you know, you post that you're going out with your friends, they're going to think that you're cheating or if you, if you're, if you're distant from them, they're they're not going to see it as you playing hard to get. They're just going to be like, oh, that person like doesn't want to talk to me, obviously. You know what I mean? Like they're not going to understand. So they the, this person is, is going to require. Um, yeah, consistent, open communication. They're going to they're going to they're, they're gonna need that clarity if this is going to work. They're going to need you to just, you know, not play the mind games, not try to play hard to get get, but just, you know, finding a balanced way to just let them know how you feel um, if this is something that you want to deal with. So anyway, I hope that helps somebody. Like I said, any comments help, even just a heart comment. It gets me back in the algorithm and my email is below in the description box if you want a private reading. Thanks.